Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Toronto State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam FM on financial mathematics. We were given the following information about the activity in two different investment accounts. And account K is on this screen now, and then we'll go to the next page to see account um, L, I believe, two accounts. Um, so we have the beginning of the year and the uh, two dates in the middle of the year, uh, July 1st and October 1st, and then the end of the year. And we have the fund value, 100, 125, 110, and 125. There is a withdrawal of X on July 1st and deposit of 2X on October 1st. So on the net basis, there is a net contribution of X into the account. And the account goes from 100 at the end of the year to 125. But the actual increase in value is only 25 minus x. Here's the second account, account L. Uh, the beginning of the year value is 100, and the end of the year value is 105.8. There is a withdrawal of x on July 1st. And we are told that during 1999, the dollar weighted return for investment account K equals the time weighted return for investment account L, which equals I. Calculate that I. So we start by calculating the amount of income earned in account K. I just told you that just a moment ago. It's 25 minus X. And the dollar weighted rate of return of K, of account K, um, um, is calculated as um, 25 minus x, which is earned on 100 that is that was there at the beginning, so we can think about it as being in the account for the whole year. x, which is withdrawn for half a year, so minus one half x plus 2x, which is put into the account for a quarter of a year, so plus one fourth times 2x. And that ends up being 25 minus x over 100. This calculation assumes simple interest, which is standard approach on the exam FM. The time-weighted rate of return for the account L gives us the over the year 1 plus i is equal to 125 over 100 because the account goes from 100 to 125 in the first period. And then 105.8 over 125 minus x because the account goes from 125 minus x to 105.8 eight at the end of the year. And then if we um, just calculate everything that is there, so that's 125 over 100 is 1.25 and then multiply by 105.8 gives us 132.25 divided by the remaining part, which is 125 minus x. Uh, we can write this as 1 plus 25 minus x over 100 because we know that it has to be equal to 1 plus the dollar weighted rate of return earned on account k. And therefore 125 minus x squared is equal to 132.25 and x turns out to be 10. And i is equal to 25 minus 10 over 100 which is 15 over 100, 15% which is answer c. Please remember, this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.